Alrighty, so you just took the uh, panel out of the box and all the stuff out of the box and you're wanting to know how to wire the thing. Um, don't worry, um, you might see this thing and start to freak out a little bit. Um, don't, it's, it's gonna be easy. Um, this is actually quite easy. Um, so this section is only gonna tell you how to wire up the temperature module to the panel. If you're wanting to know how to wire door locks and stuff like that, this is not gonna show you. This is just gonna show you for a temperature module. So let's talk about the stuff that you need. Um, you need this thing right here. You need the mounting plate for the panel. You need this thing, which is called a female pigtail adapter. You're going to need this little thing. You're going to need the temperature module. You're going to need the little Allen key that it comes with. And you're going to need the power supply that it comes with. Of course, you're going to need the panel. And let's talk about some stuff that you're going to need to provide on your own. Um, you're going to need a little micro screwdriver. You're going to need some electrical tape. You're going to need a, some wire strippers. And you're going to need some low voltage wire, more than likely. I'll explain that at the end of the video. Um, so let's just get started and talk about um, what we need for this first step. Let's just get some of the stuff out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this thing right here and um, you're going to twist the wires together like that and just kind of make them, make them all bunched up. And then you're going to get the temperature module and you're going to, going to pay attention to the red and black wires, okay? And this is where you might need to get your wire strippers out and strip some of this wire back. I've already done it on mine. Um, but go ahead and do the same thing, twist those together as well. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the red from each little wire set and twist them together really good. And then you're going to take the blacks, which are the negative wires, and twist those together. There you have it. The positives are together and the blacks, which are the negatives, are together. So you're going to take this little pigtail adapter and you'll notice um, it has a plus and a minus sign on it. You're obviously going to take the red and put it in the plus. So first thing you want to do is loosen these up. And take the red wire and put it in there. Okay, so now we got it in the pigtail adapter. Um, I didn't do a very good job here. Normally, I don't want all that wire exposed. I, I would normally trim those wires down and then stick them in there, and then where I'd have all the plastic uh, butted up against this part. But uh, for time purposes, I'm just going to leave it like that. You get the point, though. So now what you're going to do is grab this thing right here, and you're going to look at the label here. It gives you a color code. And the you're only going to be looking for two wires. You're going to be looking for the RS-485P and the RS-485N. So it gives you a color code as well. So the RS-485P is orange and the RS-485N is purple. So I need to be looking for the orange and the purple wires. And here they are right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of move these back out of the way because I'm not, I'm not going to be using them right now and just kind of segregate those by themselves okay so we also need to look here on this side and let's move this label down you also got a label on here as well and it tells you also what the uh, wires are color coded we also have a rs485p right here and rs485n but the colors are different here um, but we need to match the p's and the ends up from each wire set so this says RS-485P is blue, and if we look over here again, we're, we need to find out which one the P is. So RS-485P is orange right here, so we're going to match up the P's and twist those wires together. And now we ne need to match up the ends, and just for double verification, we got the N is brown on the temperature module and the um, N is purple on the wire harness. So let's match up the ends and twist them together.
All right, so we, uh, we have them connected now. Um, now you notice a lot of exposed wire. You don't want these wires touching each other. So what this is where we're gonna use the electrical tape to cover up that exposed wire. You can also use terminal blocks here or wire nuts, whatever you prefer. But the, the point is you need to cover up this exposed wire. Okay, so I have them electrical taped now, and um, it's definitely not the best job in the world. As a matter of fact, it's probably the worst job in the world, but um, for time purposes, I'm just going to leave it like that. But you get the point. You, you need to do a much better job than I did. I'm just showing it for illustrative purposes. So let's go ahead and bring the panel over here as well as the mounting bracket. Um, now we're going to go ahead and put the mounting bracket on, um, and you'll notice this little tamper switch here that um, I'm pretty sure that thing needs to be pushed down which is why we need to put this mounting bracket on so you know some of you may um, you, you may just set this up on your bench and um, play with it if you do that make sure to go ahead and put the wall mounting bracket on even even if you're not going to mount it to the wall right away because you need that tamper switch pushed down but basically you're going to take this where you're going to have your allen key and you're going to screw that in right there and screw this in right there very tight all the way okay so we got that plate on now all we're going to do is get these connections and put them connect them to their uh, connections on the terminal board here make sure those snap into place really good and then the last thing you're going to do is Get your power supply and plug it into the uh, pigtail adapter and you are done. It's as simple as that. Um, now you may be wondering uh, how can I extend these, these wires? Um, well, that's what you're going to do with the low voltage cable that you're going to provide your, yourself. Um, you know, just standard low voltage cable like 18 gauge, like 18.2 uh, or 22.2. Um, I, I'm using 22.2. It doesn't have to be heavy gauge or anything. You can even use Cat5 wires um, if you want to. Um, doesn't need to be anything special. It just needs to be able to um, send, the, send the power signals and the RS-485 signals. So that's all you need. And the last thing you, you'll need is um, there's a network connection here. That's not required, but I totally recommend it, um, especially when it comes time to update firmwares. Um, you're, you're really going to want to use it if you plan on using this as a full-fledged access control device because there's a lot of features in the web interface. You can actually see the camera through a web interface like a standard IP camera, which is pretty cool. So I totally recommend that you hook the network connection up, but it's not required for operation. And lastly, depending on how you want to mount it, um, if you, let's say you want to wall mount it and you have the wires routed through your wall and you have a hole in the wall, um, you, you, you plug your cables in just like I have here, but let's say you mount it against the wall and um, you, you're not routing your wires through the wall, you're routing your wires on the outside of the wall. Well, you're going to want to take these cables and push them up in here and then connect it. So we also have an optional stand that you can buy for this. So just to be you know how you want to wire it, um, you just, just keep that in mind how you're going to plug in these cables. So it's as simple as that.